Recently, the Daily Beast reported that Ivanka Trump, from her new more than $3 million home, mansion really, down in South Florida, uh, she's attempting to rehab her image and she's doing it in a rather clever way. She once again wants the public to see her as the softer Trump, the relatable Trump, the, the good, nice, friendly, decent, pure Trump. But it's just not working. And the way she is doing this, according to the beast, is by allowing herself to be photographed by the paparazzi just doing mundane activities in her yard of her new three plus million dollar mansion down there in South Florida. And one of them, one of the uh, uh, people interviewed for the beast nailed it on the head when they said, this is perfect because it really does encapsulate Ivanka. She's doing absolutely nothing, but it looks like she's doing stuff. And isn't that after all, what she did throughout the entire four years she was in the white house, nobody knew what she was doing, but she was always moving around and showing up at meetings and writing stuff down, but nobody really knew what she was doing because she wasn't actually doing anything. And so now she's tried to take that same formula to her personal life, to rehab her image that basically got destroyed during four years of her dad's administration. She's not putting all the lovey dovey flowery pictures on Instagram that she used to her and her kids. Nope. She's trying this different tactic to see if the press will do her job for her. Wouldn't surprise me if they did to be perfectly honest with you, by the way, the press are the ones who actually tried to package and sell Ivanka uh, before her dad even took office as the reasonable one. Do you remember? Think back to late December, uh, 2016, early January, 2017, before Donald was sworn in, they were having all those meetings at Trump tower, fifth Avenue, New York, right? Uh, Ivanka was there. They were bringing in people to talk about issues like climate change. They were, they were, they were talking about LGBTQ issues, you know, and Ivanka was, was spearheading all of this, bringing in all these people to show that, Hey, this administration is going to care about individuals. We're going to care about the environment. And then they didn't do anything with it. In fact, they did the opposite. You know, they went after the LGBTQ community. They repealed, uh, regulations and safety standards that were protecting us from environmental pollutants. And then a couple years into it, Ivanka said, yeah, I don't know why everybody thinks I can do anything about this, right? I can't change his mind. So she gave up. She admitted to the press that she gave up. And now she's like, well, I guess I need to, you know, if I want to have friends, if I want to get invited to parties, I got to be seen as like the cool hip mom that wasn't part of this brutal regime that attempted a coup. Uh, so yeah, I've got to, I've got to be that. And I can't just do it through my own Instagram, right? That's, that's a little transparent. Everybody will see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go meander through the yard with the kids and we're going to play and I'm going <laughs> to Oh, the paparazzi got my picture and now it's in the tabloid and you see how loving and fun I truly am. Yeah. If you fall for this, then you absolutely deserve another four years of some kind of Trump. Uh, serving in a position of power because this is ridiculous. Ivanka Trump is no different than the rest of her family. She's just able to sell it a little softer than the rest. It's the same crap, different sales pitch.